Good morning. Welcome to PMC Airwaves Newsletter. I am Tim Wells. This July brings new and exciting events, initiatives and programs that aim to strengthen and connect our community. PMC has always been about connecting and inspiring people to create amazing things from meaningful content like Connection TV, which strives to connect and educate Portland's Rwandan community, showcasing services, cultural events, and highlighting influential figures in our community. But PMC has always been about something else, transparency. We love input from our members and community and welcome it every day. That's why I would like to start today with new initiatives, policies and steps we intend to take in order to move PMC further into the future. Portland Media Center's board of directors and staff just held our strategic planning retreat. PMC conducts a strategy planning process every three years, reviewing our goals and objectives and refining our execution plan to achieve these goals and objectives. We review our vision, mission, and value statements and make sure that our goals and objectives align with these three important statements. The strategic planning meeting is a time when we can evaluate and improve ourselves, reshaping our organization for the future. While I was impressed with the leadership and dedication I saw from all of our team and the ideas, inspiration, and visions put forth. What matters most is the impact and the actions they inspire in you and the community we serve. PMC is making investments to increase community engagement, increase the capability of our producers with better training, equipment, and software to take production quality to a new level. These investments and resources will impact all of you. It is truly inspiring to see such vibrant creativity and forward thinking leadership at PMC. And I hope to see even more of it in the coming years. PMC has always been about reshaping and evolving with the world of media production, storytelling, and giving voice to the community. PMC is committed to the idea that everyone, regardless of skill level or means, can have equal access to the training and tools, even the most cutting edge technology and techniques needed for their voice to be heard. We have some ambitious and exciting goals for the future. We plan to increase our engagement with the community, giving and amplifying the voice of more people, and increasing the opportunities for people to train and produce the highest quality content on the latest equipment and cutting edge software. We are excited to embark on this journey. To help lay down the foundation of PMC's next steps into the future of media, I would like to announce Next Step, a way we can update you, our community, on the important changes and improvements we are making in preparation for 2025. Each quarter, you will hear from us about all new programs, initiatives, and projects we are taking on to evolve. For the most up-to-date info on PMC's next step, visit portlandmedia.org slash next step. I can't wait to show you all the incredible, game-changing projects we plan to take on, but that is for another day. Now let's hear from Dan about the new UMVA gallery. We at UMVA are so excited for our latest exhibition, Being Human. In a world of escalating violence and dehumanization, this show focuses on individuals from various parts of the world. Populations who represent and express what it means to be human. These works feature a variety of media, including oils, acrylics, watercolors, abstract art, and photographs. This exhibition features artists Robbie Kiwan, Arthur Nichols, Jen Joaquin, Greg Burns, and John Ripton. And it will hold its opening night on July 1st, 5 to 8 p.m. The show will run through July 30th and is located at 516 Congress Street at Portland Media Center. Now back to Tim. Pathways to Progress with host Lisa Savage is back on PMC. 
This month, City Councilors Victoria Pelletier and Roberto Rodriguez sit down to discuss the most recent events happening at City Hall and their anticipation and concerns around Portland's annual Pride Parade. Victoria shares her time with Portland middle schoolers who came to see the importance of local government at work and Roberto shares his thoughts on the recent school walkouts around racism and bigotry in our school systems. It's lively discussion that is both uplifting and thoughtful, reminding us of just how important our thoughts and actions matter. Watch all new episodes of Pathways to Progress by going to portlandmedia.org slash watch. Next, let's talk about the main Audubon. PMC has just wrapped on an exciting video project with the Maine Audubon. This video is intended to help and educate people who fish on the use of lead-free tackle, discouraging the use of bait fish, and how to handle fish when returning them to the water. The video also demonstrates how to properly dispose of tackle and fishing gear, as lost or discarded tackle is the leading cause of death for common looms. We are so fortunate to have worked with Maine Audubon on such an educational video that will serve our community. You can watch the video on PMC's YouTube channel or on PMC's Channel 5. It is so exciting to see PMC grow so much over these past years. And as we look forward to the future, we want to recognize all the hard work that has gone toward our development. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I would like to thank you, our community, for being so vibrant, so creative, and so inspiring. On behalf of everyone at PMC and our nonprofit members, I would like to wish you a happy summer. Be sure to stay safe, Stay cool and keep creating.